Welcome to Glober Mom. The following video is a departure from what I usually do, but it had to be made because a member of the debunking community I belong to is being unfairly targeted by FE Corps and its seven member board of directors for information he found after doing an investigation at the request of the director of FE Corps. I will let Sean Hufford explain about this a little later, but for now, let's continue on with the video. This is the home page of FE Corps' website, fecorps.org. There is no members only login or any other measure to keep the public out. Everything can easily be seen by the public. On the About Us page, you will find the seven board of directors' faces and names on full display. The following is a screen capture and clip of a Board of Directors meeting held on September 24, 2018. In it, Bob Nodell introduces all seven members of FE Corps by name. This is Bob uh, Nodell, and we are here doing a uh, Field Engineer Corps Board of Directors um, statement that we would like to issue. And the reason that we're doing this today is because there have been some very, uh, well, <laughs> incorrect and slanderous accusations made towards um, our organization. And we would like to, you know, just kind of get that cleared up and make a statement on it. And after we make our statement and we talk about this a little bit, uh, we are going to allow the people in the chat room to ask questions. Now, I will say this, trolls, if you are going to be snarky in your questions and you know make them leading and uh, very unreasonable. I'm not even going to acknowledge them. Um, but if it is a legitimate uh, question, we will certainly be happy to answer it. But uh, you know, honestly, our patience with with trolling and you know false ac accusations is very limited at this point. So uh, with that. I'm going to go ahead and hand it over. I, well, first of all, let me let me let you know that the entire board of directors is here for Field Engineer Corps. Um, we have Steve Torrance, we have Sandor Zelski, and I hope I pronounce that right, Sandor, because I always mess it up. <laughs> and we have, is that right? Did I do it right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. You 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 foreign people. You just you know have these really hard names to pronounce anyway. <laughs> All right, and we have uh, Karen B, uh, Karen Endicott with us. We have Mike Cavanaugh, uh, we have Jaron Campanella, we have Rick Hummer, and of course myself, which comprises the seven members of the uh, Board of Directors for FE Core. Interesting. It is interesting to note that all seven members of the Board of Directors, Mike Cavanaugh, Steve Torrance, Karen B. Endicott, Rick Hummer, Bob Nodell, Sandor Zaliki, and Jaron Campanella are globe deniers and have YouTube channels where they make globe denying videos. Sean, do me a favor. What's up? Go ahead and tell everyone again, for those who have just joined us, why we are here. Because FE Core is a bunch of cowards. Um, they didn't like the fact that at the request of Mike Cavanaugh, president of Fraud Earth Core, that he wanted Sly to investigate the claims that, you know, I continue to say that they're frauds. So he wanted Sly to investigate it himself, so he just didn't have my word to go on it. Sly did exactly that and published his findings. Mike didn't like the butthurt that ensued, so he decided to hit him with, of all things, privacy complaints against Sly using their publicly available and published about page, which shows all of their faces and all of their names. Mm -hmm. So if somehow that's a violation of privacy. That got his first video taken down. And then to add a kicker to it, a video that's been on Sly's channel for over a year that Mike was not only aware of, but actually discussed with Sly on their live stream last week, he decided to hit that with a copyright strike for added good measure. I'm 
there's another thing I want to update people on. Um, there's been a death in the community, and it's not actually happened yet, but it's about to happen. So whilst we're all gathered here, we might as well take a moment to remember our friend, Sly Sparkane. He's about to fall to grief. Currently, his channel is still live. However, in the next few hours, it won't be. So let's take a moment to remember Sly Sparkane, a baller that knows it's not a ball, but tells his audience that it is a ball. Um... Oh, you're going to have to give us some more details on that, which means in three hours his channel won't be a channel anymore. He's currently sat on two um, strikes. I'm not sure if the community strikes or copyright strikes, but he's got two... Cop two. I'll just call them copyright strikes. It might not be. It might be the other one. But um, he's in. he's got involved... He's got involved in a war with um, Effie Core because um, Effie Core have took issue with something that he said or several things that he said and done. And um, they've basically said, no, you're out of line, pack it in because blah, blah, blah. I don't know the ins and outs of it. I'm not familiar with the ins and outs of it. If you want to check it out before his channel dies, go and look at his version of events on his channel. Um, but basically, they've got involved in a spat. And, um, well, he's going to claim victim status because of false flagging. But Effie Core are saying... You're taking the piss. There are limits to being a dick. And regardless of how it goes, um, I, I'm, not, I'm just reporting the facts that Sly's about to die. So my condolences to Sly's family, Geo Strieber, Sean Hufford, Red's Rhetoric. We will all we will all remember Sly Sparking. Yeah, but it's, it's not really a laughing matter, though, is it really? No, not at all. That's terrible. No, I have to say, it's <laughs> worked on that channel to build it up for years and... Just to have it taken away. You know, I'm not a fan of that at all. I, I, I remember Sly Sparkane four years ago before he made his first video. And I used to taunt him in the comments. I used to say he was in Oakley Cage. And I'd chuck him in some Cavendish balls to play with and stuff. Anyway, he, he was a troll. Or I, I viewed him as a, just a, a regular troll. And encouraged him to make videos. And he did. And to hear... Uh, he's, that's uh, somebody going into YouTube as a commenter, watcher, then progressing on to making videos to address points that they were, um, uh, what's the word, Challenging. objecting about in this case with me. And, you know, making direct addresses to things with videos, I had nothing but respect for that. I've always said Sly's my favourite troll, fuzzy little sod. So to hear that he's potentially going to lose his channel, I think that's terrible. As uh, I take off my flat earth hat and put on my YouTube hat and go, I could almost shed a tear for the guy. That's that's terrible. And then you realise that he's an, a moron and think, don't care. Ha -ha. I don't care. I've got my YouTube hat on going. The guy's built up a YouTube channel. He's bought, built up an audience, and he's going to potentially lose it over. If if what I'm reading or hearing, reading between the lines, is you're saying that he's going to potentially lose his channel because Fe Cora uh, striking him based on content. Is that correct? No, I, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I don't think it's Effie Core. I think Effie Core have kept well away from it. I think. Oh, right. It's, it's, good, I think it's. Good, I think it's some kind of argument to do with um, he's accusing people of fraudulent activity in some way. I, I'm not up to it. I'm, I'm, I've not been watching, um, so I don't really know the facts. I just know that he's got he's on two strikes currently, and he's about to get his third. So keep your eye open. His channel won't be around for much longer. So if you want to go and sign his condolences card, it's I hope you're wrong. Currently, I, I hope you're wrong. I hope he doesn't lose his channel. I've got it up at the minute. It's interesting, his tagline says, a wise man can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can learn from a wise answer. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Onions. Yeah. Right, let's take this YouTube hat off and put the Flat Earth hat on. But, but yeah, Sly is a uh, fundamentalist religious zealot. You know, he, he, he will take positions that are patently absurd like measuring the horizon you know an arbitrary point where the sky meets the ground which it doesn't it's appears, only an apparent appears position to meet the ground, appears to meet the ground sorry where the sky appears to meet the ground yeah an arbitrary position where the sky appears to meet the ground well that's not something yeah, you're going to be using to appear. measure things is it which is precisely what he's doing with tubes of water crowdfunded "Quote unquote experiments that don't have any actual scientific predictions attached, otherwise known as hypotheses. He doesn't have any of that. So you know, well, with, with my flat Earth hat on, he's just a pretend clown troll. There's a bigger picture as well in this because um, obviously the likes of Red's rhetoric and uh, all his cronies, Sean Huff, fraud, and all them lot. 
that circle of friends that you always see them close close to each other. They're in the target line, the firing line as well, um, because it's the, the, there's just a fight. They're arguing over something. I don't even know what it is. I just know that they're fighting over something, and I've just been told the background to it, and I was like, I can't be bothered going to watch it. Just give me the the, the two lines that I need to know. And it's basically a, a, dick swing, a dick swinging competition. That's what's really happening. Still doesn't prove any curve, though. They're they're battling over which one of them gets to prove curvature to us. <laughs> well, it was funny because yeah, but to be fair, our arguments it. have evolved through their own videos, what they put out. You know, and they're the guys that have done videos that we've watched and then thought, oh, they have a point, and then we've gone back and addressed it. So without these guys doing what they do, you know, we wouldn't have evolved our arguments quite as quick. And we love it. Uh, the amount of times, yeah. the amount of phone calls from Anthony or Ranty where the rush of adrenaline comes because you're like, look at what they're saying. Look at how they're saying they prove it. And then it's the, you know, fairly quick task of pulling it to pieces. But for me, and I know based on the smiles I hear when I'm talking to Anthony or Ranty in this regard, specifically on a Skype call or whatever, over the over the last couple of years, it's a joy. You know, we get a real rush out of it, right? Speaking of which, what <clears throat> what happened to the 10 questions, Ranty, that they put towards the Flat Earth <laughs> community that they had to actually yeah, make it... Be a question. Yeah, Bob the Science Guy is working on that. Working to on make it. it more concise. Yeah. Yeah, I'm but sure we'll he'll, see. He'll formulate some good fallacies. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Hey, Anthony, you still on? Eating tea, probably. Well, I'm sure it won't take, to be honest, Slice Bar Kane, with the people that he knows, it shouldn't take him more than a couple of months to probably double his current subscribers on a new channel if he sets one up. Because we know, you know, these shout outs from all these channels seem to work wonders. You know, they get uh, amazing subscriptions very quickly. So, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll be back up and running very soon if that is the case. Maybe. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think if we if we touch uh, momentarily the slice park situation, because I want to hear it. Slice park cane, I we should the name. Uh, and Earth is flat. Just hit the super chat. He say, when are these globe zombies are going to apologize to Q? Right. Sleeping warrior. Uh, slice park cane. So there was. Uh, I heard a little bit of Nathan like five minutes. And there was something about some copyright strikes, Slice Park Kane losing his channel. What's going on? Someone's, I don't, he's picked a fight with the FE Core over something. He's, he's alleging fraudulent stuff to do with how to be or something. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I've not watched the videos. I just know that um, it's the usual kind of nonsense. And from, from, from my perspective, it's kind of it's, it's back and forth. It's, it's just drama. Um, I, don't know, I've not, I don't really know the arguments. I'm not going to try and present the arguments because I'd butcher it. Um, so oh, what happened oh, was uh, Mike Cavanaugh from FE Corp directed um, everybody who was listening to go copyright strike uh, Slice Park Games channel. Okay, so whatever's happened, he's ended up getting, um, well, he's got numerous issues um, in a minute. He's got two copyright strikes that have stuck, but he's got several that are pending. And they may not be copyright strikes, they may be um, community guideline strikes, but he's got several that are lined up. And his channel looks looks is looking like it's going to go in the next few hours so we might have to start a new channel he's confirmed two of the copyright strikes as well well that is kind of a scummy move i don't know the ins and outs of it i agree generally i think that it's probably dick swinging and like you know just not showing off but um What's the asserting your prowess over your enemy in a sly way? But I don't know the reasons for it. I don't know anything about it other than what's in his video. I've just watched his video, and that's the, the, the one I saw. It was either yesterday or the day before. They 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 were. I don't. I don't think was it a copyright strike? 
And he had basically shown their page off their website with the board members. And they were, they were asking for him to take down this video and take out this copyright material and all the timestamps that they gave where he showed their website page, which is like public domain stuff. How can that be a copyright strike? Before you answer, know. GPS yeah. also GPS also answer. How do you know Sleeping Warrior about pending copyright claims? If if you, know, you heard about it, somebody mentioned it. That pending ones. Um, a baller said to me, um, "Can you find out what's going on with this?" So I, I rang Mike Kavanagh, Mike Kavanagh, Kavanagh, Kavanagh him, himself, and I just asked, "What's going on with you and Sly?" And he said, and he gave a, a brief outline of it, but he was busy because he was on holiday. And he just said, um, I can't really talk now. He said, but the gist of it is they've had a fallout over something. And um, he's sick and tired of um, the way things are between the two of them. And he just feels as though he's being misrepresented and dishonestly misrepresented at that. And he thinks it should stop. Um, he did tell me to issue a warning on his behalf to all the, any of the ballers that want to start alleging like fraudulent stuff and whatever. And I'm not going to do that simply because this is some an argument that's between him and him, these two people. And um, it'll come out in the wash, whatever happens, it'll happen. But it's to do with like, the, the, the slack or the, 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 the loose use of the word fraudulent. Um, that's what he's pissed off with. So what I can read over here, GPS, I bet he's a follower, you know, close followers of Sly because he know more details and he... Now he gave me a super chat with kind of the same question, but he adds more. He say, how does Sleeping Water know about pending claims? Sly hasn't well, spoken about more than two. He knows more, th more than he says. That's right. because, if I may answer for Riley, <laughs> that's because uh, he's been obsessed with him shouting him out for over two years oh. <laughs> on the debates. Um, I asked... I think a lot of it's been to do with uh, you always shout their, out slice their, uh, uh, tax exempt status claim. Oh, I thought it was to do with the filing of a pa some paperwork or something. I'm not. I, I don't know what it's to do with. I thought it was yeah. to do with the filing of some paperwork or something. It, it is, and it has to do with a uh, with a tax exempt corporation. Uh, but I don't know the details of it either. I've just caught snippets here and there. Yeah, I, I think uh, FE Core is claiming to be a 501c3 nonprofit. Right. What? Same thing a Let's church falls under, FE right? FE Core doesn't yeah. take slander lightly. It's not slander if it's true. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but you have to, don't, don't you have to demonstrate no, but that it's true? Then it's not going to work out, is it? Yeah, that's the whole point of his videos is he does point out why it's not slander. Right. But what but he says he, has a, has the core of truth to it. Sure, but Why if you're gonna you hang on, if you're gonna assert, because the, the issue is the use of the word fraudulent, right? Whether it's factually right or wrong is not the issue. The issue is whether it's fraudulent, and that brings with it the burden to prove that the intention to deceive, right? How is Sly going to prove that anybody was intended on deceiving anybody? Well, okay. Here's all right. What's FE Core stand for? Field Engineer Corps Corporation, and not Flat Earth. Oh, no, it's not Field Engineer. Oh. Is that what? Oh. Yeah, that's well, what they see in it, of course. Oh, yeah. you fe and, you fell for it, them, and none of them well, are field you engineers. Fell for it. But what, yeah, what, what's a field what engineer? Somebody that's spell it C O R E instead of C O R P S. That's how you would spell field engineer. Because they or. love to shove that F E in your face because you get obsessed over it. That's yeah. why. Hang on. Okay. Why, why is this yeah. even an issue? That's the start of it. That's a simple, simple start of it. Okay. So someone's took issue with the F E bit. So what? No, Does it mean it? no it's not just the. You're missing it, aren't you? It. They 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 Maybe. don't want to see the F and the E together anymore. Oh, oh when well, you're not really helping at the moment. I don't, I don't think that really I matters mean, one way or the other. They call themselves anything they want to. Who cares? Yeah, yeah this is just totally I, separate from the actual, you know, main argument between Slice and them. This is just, you know, us, you know, speculating about, you know, this stuff because I have heard in in kind of casual interviews, Bob himself and Ooh. other guys. You know, they mention it because they say, like, is F, does F E stands for flat earth? And I say, like, well, no, but, you know, we being part of this, you know, this organization, you know, kind of bloom when we were in the flat earth. So my people think he, he just you know, threw a little nuggets in there. And people, uh, I say they just called it like that just for the hell of it because he means flat earth and if and whatever, field engineering too. They can say, I can say whatever I want with the F E. 
The links to the videos I used in this particular video are linked below in the description, as well as the videos of, from Sly Sparkane regarding the FE Core complaints. This should wake up every YouTube content creator. It's not just FE Core and Sly Sparkane. We who create content need to be vigilant and stand up to those who make complaints to try and silence those they do not like and or what their content is about. As of today, August 30th, 2019, Sly Sparkane's channel is still up on YouTube and FE Core has not hidden the faces and names of its board of directors on its about page.